Here we select the names of the interface. An endpoint is the URL address of the service. The interface is implemented at the endpoint, that is the tie or the skeleton if you prefer. Notice that the name is the full package name of the interface. The WSDL namespace and the local part identify the web service port in the WSDL file. Entering it here associates these names with the interface that was entered above. For the port component and the port component display name, the name of the interface is used. You can just accept the default for the endpoint address right now. We'll be specifying some more endpoint addressing later. You go to the next window and then finish. Now select Inward Service App and the Web Context tab. Select the blank entry in the context root column and enter the name inward jaxrpc. We are building the URL. You'll see here in a little bit just how this name becomes a part of the URL. Now we're going to build some more of the URL. Now select the Endpoint tab. Here in the Sun Specific setting at the bottom, set the Endpoint address name to Inward. And guess what? We've made it. The next thing to do is to save the work. The next job is to verify things, and you do the verification the same way we did before. Okay, it reports that there are no errors, so we can close this. All that's left to do now is to deploy the application to the server. There, it's deployed. We can close this window and we can verify that it has been deployed this way. And it shows up as being deployed and running. In the next lesson, we'll run the client program that talks to the service.